Hello all, or hello both. Let's talk about succession. How should I put this? If you could imagine reading a novel by Balzac, but in which Balzac didn't know anything about anything, and that would be something like succession. Which is to say, when we read the 19th century novelists, one of the things that strikes us is how much they know about life. And if they're talking about a milling business, they know how something is milled. And if they're talking about a haberdashery, you know how a hat is made. And if they're talking about a painter, they know how a painting gets painted. And if they're talking about pastry, they know how the pastry maker makes the pastry. In fact, there's a rather good scene in Mad Men where they're about to lose a tobacco account and our hero, uh, I forget his name, you know, played by John Hem, he says, how is a cigarette made? And the son says, the son of the patriarch, of the, the tobacco company says, I don't know. And his father says, shame on you. And then he runs down the list of how they make a cigarette until he gets to toast it. And John Hamm says, ah, that's it. It's toasted. Which is to say, he troubles to find out how you make a cigarette. And we learn how a cigarette is made. What I'm getting at here is that if you look at Succession, which is about uh, a company, a family that runs a company that has tremendous power in the media, you will notice that they don't know anything about anything. We're supposed to take on faith that these are important people who make important decisions and it all leads to success. And yet they don't seem to know anything about the media business. I've never seen them read a newspaper. I've never seen them talk about the news. Shiv sleeps with a guy and then she immediately dismisses him because he says that he gets his news from the funny people, meaning Stephen Colbert or Jon Stewart or, or Seth Meyers. And she and the snobs who make this, this thing seem to think, Oh, I wouldn't have anything to do with someone as so lowly as that. And yet I've never seen Shiv read a book of you. They don't read books and they don't work. All they do seem to do is talk about deals. But frankly, there has to be more to it than that. And I haven't learned in four, three and a half seasons of Succession, I haven't learned a single thing that I didn't already know about the media business, which means it is the anti-Balzac. The people who write it, the people who make this thing, they don't know anything about media, they don't know anything about business, they don't know anything about anything. And the characters, they don't know anything about anything. And that seems to be okay with everybody. This is some comic book nonsense, like an American Downton Abbey for the intelligentsia. In fact, Downton Abbey is better because at least it has some plot lines, as silly as it was, and as conservative and stuffy and vapid as it was, at least it has some plot lines, you know, perils of Pauline. This, it just goes on and on. Now to prove my point, look at the death of What's-His-Face. The death of What's-His-Face, and I have some sort of brain damage and I'm unable to conjure games whenever I need them. Logan, Logan Roy. The death of Logan Roy, look at that, how that is handled. Everyone is acting like a fool. Everyone is acting like a fool. He has stopped breathing or his heart has stopped. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody seems to know anything about anything. There's no attempt to uh, resuscitate him. There's no attempt by the dramatist to make it an engaging scene. And people are going to say, oh, but you see his postmodern drama in which he dies off screen and there is no death scene. Well, very well. 
but no one is reacting in a natural and proper way. They're all acting like dopes. So this is sort of like the postmodern comedian who says, oh, today comedy isn't funny. Well, this guy says, yes, comedy is funny. You have to laugh. If you're not laughing or if you're not crying, it ain't drama. And this ain't drama. This is pablum for the intelligentsia. And shame on you, Frank Rich, for spending so many years as a theater critic. And this is the best you can do. There ain't no drama here. Uh, as the cop would say, right? Nothing happening here. That's what I would say. Walk on past. Nothing happening here.